the Mountain Divisions are not the conferences that would be recognized too much by college football fans as they were ranked the third weakest conference in the College Division 1 scene. Baylor has been ruling the Mountain Division for what seems to have been an eternity. NFL stars such as stud linebacker Bobby Wagner, the unstoppable route runner Devontae Adams, and a recent breakout player Josh Allen were all Mountain Conference products. The New Mexico Lobos have been abysmal and they sport a 33-10 record in the past four years. It's up to coach Ethan Law to turn this team around and bring New Mexico to glory. He will be running a one-back system and a 3-4 defense. The difficulty will be on Heisman, of course, and the sliders will be ticked up by five, as I want it to be a challenge. Hunter center for this Lobos core is number 10, the redshirt sophomore Trey Hall. He is a very good improviser at 84 speed, and he's very good at rolling out to the right or to the left and getting a good amount of yardage when the play collapses. Sometimes he shows glimpses of amazing passes and sometimes not so good passes. At the running back position is the power back Bobby Cole. While he does not pose the best speed, he is a very powerful back, and he will have a backup, Bryson Carroll, but we won't get into him too much. One man Trey Hall will consistently be looking to is great route runner Jordan Kreese. He's very sure-handed and, like I just said, he's very good at running routes. Another solid option Trey Hall will be looking forward to is his tight end Marcus Williams. And I know what you're thinking, but this is not the NFL safety. But he is a beast. He's a senior. He's an 80 overall, and he never gives up on a single play. Very good at blocking, too. And one of the team's best players and the defensive captain, he is a monster, Brandon Shook. Amazing name and even better hit sticks and coverage. He will be a staple in this defense for his last year as a senior. Here at the highest rated player on our team, it is the safety. He's a stud, Jarek Reed the second. Great at coverage, very strong hit power. He's going to be a beast for us this next season. And last but certainly not least, it is the sophomore Jake Saltonstone. And the reason I put him up here, he's pretty lowly rated, but he has a lot of potential and just raw power. He's a beast. Look out for him. And I'm going to show you the red shirts we have. We're going to red shirt a lot of our freshmen who haven't already been red shirted because we just want to preserve the team for the later years. And once these people are in their last couple of years, they're going to be absolute studs, maybe low 80s to mid 80s. That's the reason we're redshirting all these normal freshmen. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to redshirt all the freshmen that we don't necessarily need to back our team up because we have a lot of them. We have a lot of freshmen in the class. And I went back to the linebacker position because we have so many seniors. So I'm going to redshirt Rag Hanna. And that doesn't look good, so we're going to recruit heavy on outside linebackers and linebackers in general. And we're mostly going to recruit in the secondary because we do not have a depthy team. We have an age team. Um, I don't know what I just made up there. Same with safeties. But it's going to be a struggle to recruit. And look at Tavier Combs. He looks like a beast. And I'm going to redshirt him because he could be an absolute stud. But that is our red shirts. And going on to the schedule, we are going to open week two facing Missouri, and then we're going to have a bye week. Then we're going to face number 16, Michigan, UNLV, Coastal Carolina, Wyoming, Utah State, and number six, LSU, San Diego State, Air Force, Colorado State, Fresno State. And I believe after that, we face Boise State somewhere. But this is by no means an easy schedule considering LSU, Michigan, and Missouri. This will be a tough fight for our record, and I'm excited to see how we play. Maybe we can upset some teams here and there, but this could be good, could be very bad. Anyways, this is Gridiron Plays, and I'll see you in the first week. I'm really excited, but this is Gridiron Plays signing out. See you in the next one.